There's no joke. Two elderly women are at a Catskills mountain resort and one of them says, boy, the food at this place is really terrible. And the other one says, yeah, I know, in such small portions. Well, that's essentially how I feel about life. You know, it's full of loneliness and, and misery and unhappiness and it's, you know, it's, it's all over much too quickly. The next important joke to me is usually attributed to the likes of Groucho Marx, but I think it originally appears in Freud's Wits and His Relations to the Unconscious. And I, I think it goes something like this, and I'm paraphrasing here, so. I would never want to belong to a club that would have someone like me for a member. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think that's the I think that's the key joke to my adult life when it comes to my relationships with women, because you know the, the strangest things have been going through my mind as of late. Because you know I, I just turned 25, and I think I'm going through some kind of life crisis or something. Uh, I go, I'm not worried about aging. Let me get that right. I'm not worried about aging. I'm I'm not one of those characters. You know well. I'm slightly balding on top. I guess that's the worst you can say about me. Oh, I think, but you know, I think I'm gonna be, I'm gonna get better as I get older. You know, I, I think I'm gonna be the balding Vero type as opposed to the um, distinguished gray, I guess. Less I'm near those two. Less I'm, you know, one of those guys with saliva dribbling out their mouths, who wanders into a cafeteria with a shopping bag in his hand, screaming about socialism. <laughs> and I broke up. And I still can't get my mind around that. You know, I've, 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 I've been siphling through the pieces of the relationship in my head. You know, just trying to figure out my life and, you know, just know exactly where the, the, the screw-up came from. You know, because a year ago, you know, shit, we were in love. You know, and, well, I'm not the morose type, you know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a depressed character. You know, I, I, was, a reasonably, I was a reasonably happy kid. You know, I, I grew up in Brooklyn during World War II. 